Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. I will show you how to make this beautiful watercolor painting of a transparent flower with uh, ultramarine blue metallic gold. And I am using this Strathmore watercolor pad 140 pound and about 6 inches by 8 inches. And for color I am using ultramarine blue. I got this uh, tube watercolor but you can use any type of watercolor that you have and basically for getting a transparent effect you need to use a lot of water and mix with the paint and that's what I'm doing so first I drew an outline for the flower and then I'm starting to paint And if this is your first time coming to my channel, please subscribe. And I would also appreciate if you could please like my video and share it with your friends. So I have diluted it with water. And then now I will start to paint. So I'm applying this diluted paint onto one petal slowly. As you can see the color is very transparent. If it is very light it automatically gives the transparent effect. So first you apply the base coat. And then you also have a tissue paper ready. So next step we are going to wipe some color off. I will show you how. And whenever you are making a painting with watercolor always have some tissue papers ready with you. So now I am going to wipe off some of the uh, paint from the middle. So gently use the brush and wipe away the paint from the middle section. So that's what gives the transparent effect. And similarly also make sure to dry each layer before you add paint to the next petal otherwise the paint will smudge and you don't get
using a mini ha- uh, mini dryer that I got from Amazon. But you could also use hair dryer, whatever you have on hand. Hair dryer also works fine. So once one layer is completely dry, then you can add the next petal.
I'm using another color, darker Prussian blue, which I'm going to put it in the center. And for the gold effect, I'm using fine tech metallic gold. This is the fine tech metallic gold. It's a beautiful golden color. I mix it with water and then I'm making some designs in the center of the flower. I use this metallic gold in almost all my paintings and it's really beautiful. And it gives a nice shine and reflection to the flower. <laughs> 